Good afternoon, my sick bestie. How are you <laughs> feeling? Good afternoon, bestie. I'm, I don't, it's just allergies. It's, and they're just very bad. Okay. Well, I'm glad you're not sick then. And it's just freaking sinus bullshit. <laughs> it sure is. I hate it so much. I and, hate it. And how'd the neti pot go? Um, very they, well, as you know. Oh, yes. <laughs> I was like, you know what? If I'm going to record today, let me try the neti pot so I don't sound so gross. Speaking of, I'm I'm eight days. So I was supposed to do it last night. I was too lazy. I will do it tonight. I promise because I do not want another sinus infection. How about that? Yeah. Yeah. And I just got fucking asked about the squeaky eye again. Like, was that your Why? eye? Were you? Like, yeah. And I was like, is it? not normal are we the only two people on this planet that have a squeaky eye the dry eyes yeah you i know, know when you rub your yeah. eyes it's kind of it's like your tear duct or something is a little like wonky it's something. either it yeah. doesn't work or it does work and it was working on overtime <sighs> i yeah. guess we're the only two then because i have the same issue <laughs> <laughs> i thought i was normal i was like thank goodness Medusa has a sick, so I'm not a weirdo. But no, I don't just like, I don't know. Everybody I know uses the Visine drops, and I'm like, that would just make it worse for me, but whatever. It's just when I rub my eye, I just hear that little squeak or a squishy noise. Guess we're the only ones. (laughs) Shit. (laughs) Speaking of, my eyelids are all dry and ashy again, but whatever. I'm not going to try not to. Um, rub them the way you you know because my eye my eyeballs are dry but I don't want to rub my eyes and have an that issue like I had last month so yeah. here we are here we are <laughs> two 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 old shit <laughs> fucking face face issues and speaking of face issues um I had a food an allergic food reaction this week and I didn't realize what it was I've been eating everything normal right and. I haven't eaten fresh mangoes in like maybe two years because I'm too lazy. Pomona bullets, they had eight pounds for nine dollars at fucking Sam's. And I'm like, let me fucking pick these bitches up because I love mangoes. <laughs> and the entire fucking time I am I don't know about you, but I, I like I told you, I freeze my fucking mangoes, right? Yeah. So it took like an hour and a half to fucking cut and DC, you know, that fucking pit or whatever you want to call it. It's just a pain in the ass. Right. I hated that ninety it was close to ninety minutes. It wasn't 90 minutes but i hated the entire time of fucking cutting it and then throwing it in a ziploc bag and then doing that why by so i started i think it was last sunday and by wednesday my face breaks out in hives and i'm like what the fuck is wrong and i'm like i didn't eat because i'm like did i eat something with strawberries or pineapples and i'm like no the only thing that was different was the mangoes. so i don't know if the mangoes were like sitting next to strawberries or whatever i guess before it was in the fucking box what wait so you're allergic to strawberries yeah, and I'm I fucking hate strawberries, so that's no problem. But like pineapples, I'm like, well, I guess I'm just gonna take Benadryl because I really want to eat pineapple. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I was just like, oh, so I haven't had the the mangoes, I guess, for the last. Now it's gonna be two days, and my face is clearing up. What? So I was just my daughter was just like, are you allergic to mangoes now? And I'm like, no, I just assume it was like next to strawberries. I don't know, but my face broke out in hives, and it's only my face that breaks out in hives when I'm. If I eat um, strawberries or pineapples, which is weird, but the Benadryl wasn't even helping. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, so yeah. you can, you ate mango before, right? And yeah. You haven't had so, this issue? Yeah. So I don't know if it was like fucking with strawberry. I don't know. Maybe it fucked a strawberry on the way over. From <laughs> well, can you even develop an allergy like later in life? Um, I want to say yes, because I was never allergic to strawberries, but I kept breaking out in hives like over 10 years ago. It was, wait, 2014, I was in the city of Long Beach. That's when I got tested. So about, te- yeah, 10, about 10 years ago, I got tested and they're, they're like, yeah, you're allergic to strawberries and pineapples. I'm like, huh? <laughs> okay. Shit. <laughs> oh, wow. I don't know. Like, I, can you just like develop a nut allergy or some shit? Can you imagine? These nuts. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. I cannot swallow no more. Yes, I'm allergic. <laughs> I'm going to go into anaphylactic shock, sir. <laughs> yeah. I don't have an EpiPen on me, so right. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, that's what marriage is for, so go hang out with your wife. <laughs> oh, 
shit. Do Boom, it, microphone job, drop. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you're not sick then because well, it probably would have been really bad if you were laughing. That would have hurted your sinus <laughs> cavity. Yeah. It's just I, I just feel so crazy because I keep sneezing and sneezing. Oh, yeah. And then <sighs> um, is it bad at work though? Because you're indoors when you're at work. Oh, yeah. It's horrible. It's horrible. Oh, no. And then there's like a bunch of dust and shit. And I don't know. Oh, because you're in a warehouse. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That. Okay. So that's even worse then. It's horrible. And oh, it's just, I'm sorry. Yeah. It's nice because um, all the little like cherry blossoms or trees or I don't know what they're called. The, the cherry trees, I guess. Okay. Um, <laughs> they, they have these little tiny um, blossoms, little white little blossoms. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. And they're just. They drive you crazy? They're freaking flying everywhere. Oh, boo. Yeah. Even though they're pretty, but. Uh, <laughs> I, can't, I can't enjoy it. <laughs> right. <laughs> and there's this stuff that they call um, it's cottonwood. And it legit looks like cotton just floating in the air, just everywhere. Just gross. And it, oh, that's the worst. That's the worst. My eyes get all swollen and red and puffy. <laughs> right. So Does, what about your son and daughter? Does it affect them the way it affects you? No, just my son. He has oh, to okay. do the whole Zyrtex and all that shit every day. Right. And, yeah. It's bad. Oh, boo. But we'll survive. <laughs> right. When's he out of school? Um, Is he out of school in May or June? June. Oh, okay. June. Yeah. And he's, what is he, a junior high? He's oh. going to he's gonna be a uh, freshman. Starting, oh, starting shit, high school. Oh, my last little birdie. Almost out of the nest. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Then what am oh. I going to do? <laughs> right. Then what am I here for, God? <laughs> no, shit. <laughs> Just kidding. We can, have do a thumb, we can pull a thumb on Louise if you're okay. Yeah, I have so many plans. I, it, well, I, just, <laughs> well, I, <laughs> well, I think it. And I'm never going to implement it. So I think I daydream quite a bit. People think I'm crazy. But I just, yeah, I talk to myself in my head. <laughs> I'm not I think that. we all do that. You know, I asked a few people that and they're like I don't talk in my head I was like well then you don't have a conscience like because isn't, isn't that that voice that you hear yeah. hey maybe you shouldn't you shouldn't punch oh, that no. bitch in the my, face or maybe you yeah, should mine like, isn't my conscience I'm just like I don't know what you want to call it I guess it's my alter ego <laughs> yeah but you do talk it's not to a yourself. good friend <laughs> it's not good to me yeah <laughs> I I talked to myself. yeah I was just like, you, that bitch needs to get fucked up. And I'm like, no. <laughs> Behave. And I was like, yeah. And I say it in my head. And then I run the scenarios. What's the worst that could happen if you do this? <laughs> I like how you said you run the scenarios. Let me run the logistics and the yeah, let strategize really the, quick. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a fucking jackpot in my brain. <laughs> like the, the ones that you pull the little, the spinning, um, like cherry, cherry, cherry. Yeah. 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 Throw it's, punch, throw punch, throw punch. Yeah. I'm like, it's a throat <laughs> punch. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> and you get a throat punch. And you get a throat punch. And you and just you. get the resting bitch face. And you just get it. <laughs> right? <laughs> and you get a smile. Shit. <laughs> With so much angst behind it. Yeah. Er. Yeah. Okay, I've been girl. trying to smile a lot more, though. Good, I'm glad to hear. You know, it's so fake, though. But I no, read... it has to come from within. Well, this is what I was told. And they're trying to be like... <laughs> okay, so I was told this. If you just smile, even if you're angry or whatever, you just smile and you hold mm -hmm. it for at least 20 seconds. It's a muscle memory where... It sends something to your brain and then endorphins go and you think you're happy because it's muscle memory. Oh, okay. You, yeah. So I tried that shit and I don't, it didn't really work with me. I mean, I would probably have to hold that. <laughs> I just feel like I'm the oh, joker and shit. So I'm all walking around with a fucking crazy ass smile. Like, 
You're like, bitch. <laughs> what is she fucking smiling about? <laughs> Trying to make the world a safer place. <laughs> there you go. Anyways. So Girl, nice. I'm here to tell you Domino's has something, and I don't even like Domino's, but I am willing to try this fucking thing. They have, what is it called? They have a Domino's cheese volcano. A so cheese volcano? Yes. So it's like a pepperoni pizza, and in the middle, it's carved out, and there's like a bowl of nacho cheese, and you dip your fucking pizza in that shit. Wait, wait. so they make the pizza like a volcano, and just put some nacho cheese in the middle? Well, the volcano part is the nacho cheese in the middle, so I don't know if there's a bowl in there, but it looked like it, there was a bowl. It was, Or maybe was it made out of the bread? I don't know. But you fucking dip your pizza in that, and I was just like, oh, I'm so fucking down for queso. <laughs> I'm a that. queso whore. I, so <laughs> am I. I fucking... Um, like, I don't even need um, chips for that. I just need the fucking... <laughs> Give me a spoon. I'll eat the queso by yeah. itself. <laughs> I love queso. I love queso. Oh, me too. I can eat that shit on anything. <laughs> That's right, bitch. By itself. Same, same. I'm going to have to GTS because I have not seen that commercial yet. Or Oh, uh, it's on Instagram. I saw it. Mm. I, oh, I should have sent that to you. I'm sorry. Or maybe it was on the Yahoo news feed that I re- was reading it. I don't think it was on Instagram. But if I see it again, I'll send it to you. Shit. That's crazy. Did you see? What, hey, I hate Little Caesars. I will not eat. Oh, I actually pizza. like their thin crust pizza. You, you know what? Actually, I did try it. I always say I, I, I wouldn't eat it, but you know what? Sometimes it fits the bill. So <laughs> <laughs> I just saw a commercial for Little Caesars, and it has uh-huh. these little, like, they look like cupcakes or little muffins. Okay. But Oh, I keep seeing that, too. That yeah, doesn't look, that doesn't look good to me. I don't know. It just kind of looks convenient. Like, you know what? <laughs> I wouldn't even need a plate for that. <laughs> that would be perfect. Right, just straight it out. Eat it yeah. straight out of the box or whatever. Yeah, or just have a paper towel, and then there's no dishes to be done. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. That yeah, would be, uh, makes sense. Yeah, but, uh, Little Caesars. I still, I'll eat it here and there, but I know when I ate Little Caesars the next day, I'm just like, it still smells like Little Caesars. It's weird. It's <laughs> just Oh, in the house, you mean? No, but I go to the bathroom. I'm just like, oh, shit. It's like, <laughs> my, my enzymes didn't even, my enzymes didn't even break this shit down. Like, it's not even real food. It's not even real marinara sauce. I don't know, because it smells exactly the same way it smelled when I was eating it. <laughs> it comes oh. out. <laughs> yeah. I uh, I'm going to leave that alone. <laughs> oh, my gosh. There's that, you know, there's shit that you've ate yeah, before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. Okay, yeah, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Just like That's you, okay, funny. well, you know, when you're not, when you need water, right? Like, you, if you look, I don't, okay, this is going to be very weird, but when you look at your pee, if you ever do, when you pee and you look, mm-hmm. and you can tell if you're hydrated or not because of the color of it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, if it's like, yeah. So, do you do that? Do you even, like, look? I used to, shit? but now you just, I, not really anymore, no, I mean. You're like, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> I, know, I, know I fucking drink. Up, I only drink water and then I have a diet Dr. Pepper every day. Sometimes I drink two of those because I fucking am addicted to that shit. Oh, shit. But uh, I have one soda every day and I already had one. I wish I could have. I probably have another one later. And speaking of, it's been really warm today. And I don't know. It's going to be what? warm all next week. So I think the sobriety is going to come to an end. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. The sun comes out and I want to have my bikini on and fucking just drink crystal light vodka. <laughs> Let's go, bitch. Yeah. Let's do this. <laughs> Tis that the is season. All. Tis yes. the season. <laughs> so I think sobriety will be coming to an end for myself. Well, that's that's cool. <laughs> I mean, I just think. At least you know, like, hey, I'm just like celebrating the sun. You yeah. don't have to get all fuckered up. Just hey, yeah, here. I'm not gonna get fuckered up. Yeah. But you know what? I might have tequila when we get off this call. I don't mm-hmm. know. We'll see. I haven't had tequila in like, I don't know. Fuck. Do you Since still I'm have? Sober. Do you I still, still have? have oh yeah, I have a brand new fucking bottle. What? It's calling <laughs> your name. I brought this it's bottle. Up. Medusa. It's and you, 70 degrees today. Right? It's like, drink me. <laughs> I'll kill the mango germs, the strawberry germs on the mango. 
Pour me in the frozen mango. <laughs> there you go. Please. Yes. Um, so this past, it's weird. I don't know if you saw that, um, the screenshot I sent you, but Monday it was kind of cold. Then Tuesday, Wednesday warmed up to like 75 and 77. And then Thursday it went down to 60. Friday was fucking 51 for the high and was raining a non-fucking stop. What? Right. So Tuesday and Wednesday, I'm, I work from home as you're aware. I'm fucking walking around in a bikini and my mom's like, are you fucking working? And I'm like, <laughs> yeah she's like in a swimsuit i'm like bitch yes i'm like i don't have any zoom calls today you know, and- it's only fans my second job <laughs> all right <laughs> okay and i'm gonna go lay out in my on my lunch period i guess in the next 30 minutes so i have to put my sunblock on she's like oh okay <laughs> and then she walks away she's like what the fuck is going on she's all medusa back in my day <laughs> right yeah we don't walk Work. around in bikinis yeah we yeah. got up at three in the morning <laughs> and we took walked the to bus school. or yeah, or for two hours yeah. in the snow. Yeah. Yeah. My dad used to tell me and my brother all the time in Austria, I would have to walk in the snow for two hours and oh, whatever the fuck, bro. Whoa. My dad wasn't even from Austria and there's no snow in the islands. All right. <laughs> and he still walked. He was telling 10 you 10 miles in the snow. Fair You're like Kauai Fair isn't play. even ten miles fucking radius, bitch. Yeah, and I was like, <laughs> really? That's weird. Like, this cool. <laughs> Do you still live here? This <laughs> 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 cool. only one point four miles. Siri said so. Just, you know, <laughs> snow as in cocaine, Dad. Yeah, Dad. <laughs> the hell? <laughs> Barefoot? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, right. got it. Yeah, but I used to tell my kids some elaborate little folklore. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if I ever told Marissa any folklore. Huh? Huh? You know what? I you know what? This is really wrong of me because I'm a fucking Capricorn. You know, like um, you watch like movies where people fuck with like kids or just people in general. Like they'll say the opposite. Yes. Like, okay, so. <laughs> When M was growing up, I wanted to train her different. Like, instead of a cat, like, no, that's a fucking dog. And the cat would be a, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. I'm just like, does oh, everybody. they're like that? <laughs> I, wanted, I wanted to raise her. I mean, I wanted to tell, yeah. Like, oh. this is a fucking cat and it fucking barks. But I'm just like, does anybody else think like, nobody thinks like me. Like, uh, the things I think of, um, Pomona Bullets. I don't know. It's not really safe. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That's why when I say, what did you do this weekend? I, I made the world a safer place. Like, I just stayed home. I just I just locked <laughs> myself up in the room. You know what? I like that answer, Pomona Bullets. Yeah. Yeah. And now that you're sober, it's just like, wow. I know. And now that I'm sober, I'm like, fuck. You, you <laughs> want me to be fucking inebriated because that's how I held it down. Right now I'm sober. I'm like, <laughs> Wow. I, speaking of, um, um, I guess sober. When I used to hang out with Tattoo Tony, um, before I was smoking weed, right? And then I'm like, he's like, you want to? Uh, I guess I, I quit, right? And then he's like, you don't want to smoke weed anymore? And I'm like, no. And he's like, oh, God, you're so fucking boring now. <laughs> I'm like, well, fuck you. At least I still drink. Yeah. <laughs> They're all but you. But the good thing is, like, we're, we are freaking like the happiest dumbest because we're silly yeah that's what i love you so much because you're silly like me it's like i'm not getting angry i'm not one i think i have never broken a tv because i got in a drunken rage like never <laughs> <laughs> i never i have never well those tvs are too fucking heavy the one that did you ever get the tv oh, removed yeah. from your bed yeah it's all gone oh, you did oh, okay oh, done and did costco send you the i guess the cables for the downstairs TV? oh actually I guess it was there. <laughs> oh, where was it then? I think they left it like down behind. They, they just let it drop behind my. Oh. But you know what? I am a fucking like a wire whore. Like, I don't know because I don't know how to connect shit. So right. I don't. I've seen people where they they put like a little zip tie or something. They, it's like, yeah. Cords, like, it's not. Mine is like a fire hazard. Like I, I don't fucking know. I just, 
<laughs> I don't fucking know. I'm like the Xbox, the the dish thingy, the modem to the fucking internet. Right. Like, I just plug all this shit in, and I don't know. And there's this bunch of wires, but I hide them so nobody can see it. It looks right. nice, but so did you? Um, so the TV's up in your room now, right? Or no? Yeah, yeah. Oh, the okay, one that good. was in the in the, the living room, room which is yes. so insane because. I didn't realize how small it was. <laughs> like, like, oh, really? I mean, well, compared to the TV in the living room now, I'm just like, uh-huh. holy fuck. It's like huge. Oh, I see what you're saying. Which, you got an 80? 80... 70, 75, I think. Damn, girl. I, I know. And I thought I was living large with like my, my 56 or whatever it is. Like, I don't even think it's like 52. I don't know. Okay. I, thought it was, I thought I was living large with that one downstairs. And it's not that... I even really utilize my living room. If I'm going to watch TV, there's a TV in my bedroom. And I'm just like, fuck it. Like, watch TV in your bedroom, though. Yeah. Why would I want to be on it. the couch? But it's pretty cool. It's nice. Like, I guess. Does your, um, does your son watch TV downstairs? Or he, does he have a TV in his room? He doesn't uh, have a TV in his room. He doesn't room. have a TV in his room. But he's more, he'll watch Netflix on the, this fucking computer. It's Netflix oh, and his gaming okay. and all this shit. Yeah. Yeah. And it's weird because I spent hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars on this Xbox and everything and upgrading and doing all this shit. And now you turn to PC? Why? Why? Well, that's what he does. Well, <laughs> fucking, you're not going to get Alienware because that shit, fuck that. Do you, you're so lucky that you're, yeah. you're done. Like, you don't you don't have kids anymore. Like oh. I mean, you do, you do, but you. you Em's gonna be fucking thirty two on April nineteenth. Ex- That's so fucking crazy. I know. I can't believe it. It's so weird to me. It chokes me up. I'm just like, what the hell? Well, I don't, it doesn't choke me up, but <laughs> oh, it chokes me up because I'm just like, damn, you know, I'm gonna blink. <laughs> I'm gonna be dead. True. All good though. Okay, so have you ever question? Have you ever bought um, when you buy something from Amazon and they offer you the insurance? Do you ever buy the insurance to go with? I guess the item that you purchase if they offer it. I have not, but I have been offered and I declined. Okay, so I actually bought insurance for the air fryer that I bought two Christmases ago, mm-hmm. and the air fryers. It, it's working but it's wonky so I fucking fi- you file a cl- you don't actually file a claim you just I guess click on the Amazon purchase or whatever the fuck right girl w- the, so I know you don't have an air fryer this, the air fryer I had to send back was six quarts so it's fucking huge right okay you know? so they're like yeah you have to send it back in order to get a fucking credit and I'm just like oh of course I'm like why can't you just fucking say we don't want it because obviously everybody would return everything I guess if does that make sense? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we, um, M finally had a, I guess an Amazon order that came in a big fucking box because she ordered everything. So a month later, a month <laughs> oh, later, she, she, I, she put that option where it's like your your delivery will be delayed, but it'll come in one box. Maybe Save that's your environment. it. Shit. Yeah. I don't know, but a month later, I finally had a box to ship it back in. <laughs> I'm like, where I'm not gonna go fucking buy a box to fucking ship this fucking thing back. I need to <laughs> fucking return it. Just put return to sender and tape it up. <laughs> right? Return to Amazon. Return to sender. Not on my dime. But I'm here to let you know that the Asuran, I, I think it's Asuran, A S U O N. I think is that's how whatever. But that thing is legit. I think I paid nine dollars for the insurance, and they reimbursed me sixty dollars within eight hours. Really? So, yeah. So I'm like, if you guys are skeptical, I guess on the Amazon insurance plan, I say go for it if um, you need to. So I'm glad I did. I'm. You know what? You just educated me because I thought that fucking insurance was just for the. Scam. delivery no for yeah. the delivery though oh, i thought the, it wasn't oh. like the product insurance or no, it, was it was like was... warranty yeah um they offered I, I guess i shouldn't say insurance but it's a warranty protection okay. i guess is what it actually is not insurance i'm sorry that's okay. what i meant to say yeah because so i was like you know what? if my package doesn't get here <laughs> i'm not paying the extra 5.99 for <laughs> right 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 yeah i didn't mean that i'm sorry 
Oh, so I shit. missed the yeah for the warranty. So I'm the like, product I, warranty. Yeah, so I'm glad I fucking bought that shit. Do they sell, do they give you offers like in tiers? I've never bought anything from Amazon where I got a product warranty. So, um, I think they offered a two a one year, two year, and three year, and I oh, bought shit. the three year. And I'm just like, even though it was only a sixty dollar air fryer, but because it was a, I guess, Black Friday special. Yeah. But I was just like, this thing's going to suck if it actually fucking breaks or whatever. So I'm, I, it was worth the $9 to nice. me. Nice. So. Oh. Yeah. Well, thank you for sharing that because I didn't even know that they offered that. I do know that fucking Lowe's offers fucking protection plans. And I'm still with the <laughs> fucked up fucking fridge. And I bought a five-year fucking warranty. The one that, oh, yeah, because you got yours from Home Depot. No, I, no, that was the fucking dishwasher. I got the, oh, yeah, that one. Fuck them too. (laughs) I got the fridge from Lowe's and I bought, yeah, guess what? With my luck, please give me the five fucking year warranty. Like, yeah, I don't even care. But you know what? I should have fucking read, like, what is it covered? What am I really paying for for five years? Because okay. I didn't do that. It's like, well, you know, we only oh, cover what you're saying. We don't cover freezers. We just cover mechanical or engines or motors. Or, yeah. Like, it's, it's a whole fucking thing. And I didn't know that. Guess what? If there's not somebody who will take my service call in my area, then like I'm, I'm just shit out of luck. Because I live. Yeah, that and- totally fucking sucks that that happened that way. I know. But you know what totally sucks even worse, Medusa, is that I was a stubborn fuck and everybody that I hated was telling me, you should never get a Samsung. You should never. And I was like, you know, fuck you. Don't tell me what to do. So I <laughs> got a Samsung just because. And, right. And yeah. So I learned a life lesson. And just sometimes the people you hate can have some good advice. Don't buy a I- Samsung. Fucking appliance. I've never had an issue with Samsung. I actually like Samsung. But appliance wise? Yeah. Um Darce had um Samsung washer and dryer that we used to use. Well, maybe their washers and dry- well, their fridges. Not, yeah, no. Yeah. I guess I, I guess know. the horror stories come from their fridges. From everybody. Yeah, I guess it's different for everybody. Yeah. Oh, my window's open. I'm sorry that there's a fucking plane going by. <laughs> At least it's not, the, it's not the cable airport. Like, God me, damn. Me. It sounds like you're in fucking like World War fucking one. <laughs> <laughs> you're this little fucking P-52. <laughs> Shit. I miss, sometimes I miss the city, but I'm, sometimes I'm just like, thank God. I'm not there. Um, what was I going to ask you? Have you been to Portland lately? I was thinking maybe I should fly up there and we just hang out in Portland because I miss you. I know. I miss you too. I have not been to Portland lately. I've just been working my ass off and uh, just rolling with the punches. And now I'm like dusting myself off and standing up and I'm it's good. It's a brand new year for my bestie. Yes, it is. I'm going to freaking manifest it. It's going to be great. <laughs> like Tony the Tiger. I know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, my son. So when you bought M, I don't know, did she eat cold cereal in the morning sometimes for breakfast? Breakfast? Yeah. Okay. So were you the type of mom that was like Cheerios, uh, kicks? Um, or were you the type of mom like, Here's your fucking Lucky Charms, your marshmallows, your fucking cinnamon toast crunch, your fucking Fruit Loops. Like you know, it's um, bullshit, but it tastes. I'm good. gonna have to ask her. I don't remember what I used to buy her. I'll ask her and I'll let you know next week. Okay. Yeah. Well, so I. Well, yeah. So I used to eat my kids' cereal all the time for like midnight snacks. So, <laughs> so right. I, I was like, I was always a okay with. Uh, here's some cinnamon toast crunch, all that shit ass sugary cereal that you know it's not gonna be any benefit to their fucking right, <laughs> like anything. Uh, and that would be once in a while. And then I decided when I started working more and I couldn't like make the kids breakfast like I used to do, it, whether it was a scramble some egg or spam and rice, mm-hmm. <laughs> and fried egg on top. 
um, they had to go to cereal. And I made this transition where, okay, I'm going to buy healthier cereal. Okay. You know what my fucking healthy, my, 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 <laughs> what I thought was healthy. I said, but those little motherfucking wheat th- or what are they? The shredded wheat. Yeah. Those little, yeah. With the frosted shredded wheat, those little. Oh, my mom used to buy that for me and my brother all the time. Cause yeah. I guess it was the healthy fucking version. Yeah. So it. that's what I thought as an Islander. I was like, you know what? That's what I used to have to fucking eat. So <laughs> here. Yeah. The kids didn't even fucking, they didn't touch that shit. Yeah, because it fucking tastes like cardboard. <laughs> no, there's, but there's frosting on it. <laughs> right? But here's the thing, because my mom would buy that because it would be the healthiest fucking option for cereal. Why? What, why? A. And B, like, all the sugar would be gone because me and my brother would just dump a fucking shit ton of sugar on top. So it totally <laughs> defeats the purpose. <laughs> I used to do that when my dad would give us just regular motherfucking Cheerios. It wasn't Honey Nut. It was nothing. And oh, you could cut a banana in it. Fuck that. Yeah, I've cut a banana into it. And guess what I would do? Put like two tablespoons of motherfucking granulated sugar. And it would go all the way to the bottom of my bowl. And I would make sure I'd scrape that fucking sugar up. (laughs) That's right. And then drink it. Yeah. And then mix it with my milk. (laughs) That's right, bitch. I feel you. Yeah. Her parents trying to feed us healthy. What the fuck? exactly you see we turned out okay yeah we did (laughs) yeah (laughs) and look at us thrive now (laughs) right okay bestie so i have um so i guess we'll call this segment the gtkmbb get to know my bestie better very good okay so um for the listeners last week pomona bullets asked me three questions and I'm like, you know what? We need to um, get to know each other better, period. So we should just start doing this like every fucking episode. Right. I, okay. And I was all for it because, yeah, it's just really weird. You can be 20 years plus besties and there's still things. You Learn something. Exactly. So I guess I'll go first. We can go, I guess, back and forth or however. Um, so let's see here. My first question is other than West coast hip hop, what other genre of music can you not live without? Uh, rock, rock and roll, just death metal. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I was going to guess, um, reggae because I know you're a big oh, Bob Marley I fan. Am. So I was trying to see if I knew you, but I'm just like, Oh, I guess I don't know her. <laughs> yeah. I rather kill. <laughs> you're <laughs> Like, I'd rather just have somebody just yell and scream for me that, uh, because I do love reggae. And you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. I Well, I got it wrong then. So, boo. Yeah. <laughs> but that would be my third choice, probably. Okay. There you go. And you? You just... Um, wait a second. Let me see if I can even oh. answer that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So mine, mine isn't even East Coast. I'm sorry, West Coast hip hop. That's just like for working out. But East Coast hip hop, like 80s and 90s, is my favorite. So my second would be what? Your second. You know what? Hmm. I never talk about it because that way. So I, I wouldn't is know. It like like a. You know what? I would think with you. Hmm. That you couldn't live without. You would take. Hmm. I'm gonna say. grunge no nope. okay <laughs> edm like house music and techno i was going to say that i was going to say that that you know music just makes me so happy all the fuck time <laughs> don't um, need to drop molly all you need to do is listen to house fucking music people that's right that's <laughs> daft punk just getting over. that's right bitch tiesto just getting over. that's right him too <laughs> okay your turn okay so and again, these are just like easy questions that, right? Shit, if somebody said you can't answer this question, she's dead. I would, uh, <laughs> Medusa would be dead. So my, I know pretty much. I would like to take the honor and like, yeah, I pretty much know. But this is one question that oh shit, I I probably don't know. Okay, I know you're not religious and whatever, but praying, okay, just praying. Right? Do okay. you actually? pray before a meal even if it's just in your head do you actually just just say thank you universe or whatever your prayer may be do you actually pray before you eat i do i say thank you 
Not all the time, but I do half, maybe half the time I do say thank you. And, and like your head? Yeah. Or I you say don't make loud, it loud, but I don't do the whole fucking 90 second prayer my mom does with her eyes fucking right. closed and her hands. And everybody's that. holding oh, their hands and yeah. in the prayer position and bowing their yeah, head. Yeah, I don't do all closing that. Closing their eyes in a public restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. That was so embarrassing growing up. I know. Up. I fucking hated that shit. I used to just always open my eyes and look around like, who's looking at us? This right. is weird. I'm so glad I was not the only child that was treated the same way. <laughs> That's why you're my best day. <laughs> so, but you do act not, you just do a little like, thanks for my meal. Yes. In your head. Yes. Oh, shit. Okay. See, didn't even know that. All right. What do you think I do? Um... I would say yes, especially, or I guess maybe if you're having a bad day, I know you would. Or if you're feeling down and out. I always, yeah, in my head, I don't make like the whole scene. I don't even make my kids. I don't even tell them. I, I never even raised my children that let's bless the meal before we eat. But never. I never even did that. I think I did it a little bit when they were still like believing in Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny and shit like that. Like I, I threw it in there. But uh-huh. Uh, like I never made it this is what we do because I never took them to church because <laughs> I don't know so- oh yeah well, I had to take my daughter to church growing up and then there, for some reason like I want to say when I don't know how old I was probably like may- maybe M was like maybe eight I don't know I didn't go to church one Sunday because my parents were on vacation <laughs> <laughs> And they, they come home and my dad's like, did you go to church? And I'm like, no. He's like, I knew it. He's like, well, just don't go to church anymore then. I'm like, great. Yeah. <laughs> it was Thank cath- you. It was Stop a making Catholicism. Me feel guilty. Was uh, it just every Sunday? Catholicism? Yeah, oh, some shit. Fucking, was it, yeah, yeah, every oh, fucking Sunday. It was just oh, like God. fucking all those people and <laughs> fake bullshit. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Man, I was, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I used to just say, hey, you know, God strike me now. <laughs> well, I like how the church I was going to, um, I guess, or I guess my mom's church that we were all going to, the pastor got caught fucking one of the fucking chicks there. And I'm just like, oh, yeah. <laughs> what? Of course. Yeah. Like, that they had to fucking, I guess, fire him and then get another pastor. And I'm like, oh, you guys are I'm like, oh, see, this is why I don't do religion. Like you guys are bishops. Fucking- yeah, you guys are all fucking fake. I know. This is so fucking like fuck your holy water. I bet you is. I don't know. I bet you the fucking altar boys just got fucking water from the goddamn water fountain right there. <laughs> like, how's it holy? I don't even know. I don't even want this water on my forehead or wherever. You, like fuck. You know what? <laughs> Never mind. I'm not even gonna go there. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but okay, good. Well, but I still acknowledge, I still thank the greater, the a higher power. That's it. Yes, I do too, because we're spiritual and uh, there is a higher power. I just don't have to adhere to, I guess, the Bible standards. Yeah. And, yeah. and my higher power doesn't ask for 10% of my check. So, yeah, um, there you go. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm not saying. Okay, but we won't, yeah. We're going to crawl out of that rabbit yeah. hole. Well, what's your next <laughs> question? Yeah. Um, are you allergic to any medications? I, what do you think? I want to say yes, probably. Because me and you have like allergies. Right. I am actually not, well, at least on record. I am not allergic to any oh, like okay. penicillin or Benadryl, like medications. Okay. I, the, uh, on record, there's nothing. They, I'm not allergic to the latex glove, or uh, I'm just, you know how they say that. Are yeah, to, yeah. So as far as medications, um, and as far as I know, I am not allergic to any medication. You can pump me up with penicillin or whatever. I'm, I won't have an allergic reaction. Okay. And for you, I am allergic to penicillin. I get really bad hives, and they're they're like big giant boil bumps, and they turn brown. If I have oh, penicillin shit. or like any, uh, I guess der- deriv- derivative. I don't know if that's yeah. the proper word. Like amoxicillin, I get. I somebody a doctor gave me amoxicillin. I want to say it was like when I was in my twenties, and he's like, "Are you allergic to anything?" I'm like, "Yeah, penicillin," <laughs> and he's like, "Uh, well, you can try this. It'll probably f- fix you, but it." it 
um, I don't think you'll break out. And of course I did. Oh, <laughs> it was my bad. Goodness. Yeah. So I had to go get a cortisone shot in my butt. Uh, do you still, does it still like puff up once in a while that the injection point? No, I've had cortisone shots and it could be like six months to a year later. It, it'll just right in the injection part. It kind of bubbles up. Looks like a little like blister, but it goes yeah. away. My um, I know, I know we had this conversation before on one of the episodes, at least. Um, when it comes to tattoos with the red ink in the summertime, when I overheat, it, it fucking gets all raised and itchy. I know. Oh. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. We, I don't yeah. know what it is about red ink, but that's so is orange. And you know what? The orange used to do that, and whatever fucking orange ink I had, uh, it's absolutely gone. Like I think it's in my bloodstream. <laughs> I don't oh, know. you mean it faded or? No, it faded to the point like it's gone. It's skin oh. color now. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Huh. Yeah. yeah it's and you're not weird. even, ta- like you're white. Well, you're not white, but I mean, but, you're yeah, not tan lighter. Yet. Yeah. yeah. So. I'm on okay. the lighter side. It's just like, wow, it's fucking gone. And now that I think about it and I'm looking at pictures, previous pictures of me throughout the years and yeah, my wrist. It used to be hella orange, and now it's just completely fucking gone. I've never even known that to have color since I've known you, so that must have been faded a long time ago. I, I, no, I'll show you a picture of me when I was in Mexico with my dad playing darts, and and it was when we, me and you became besties and stuff. You'll, you'll, oh, okay. Yeah. I'll send you a picture. I have a great picture or of the tattoo, at least. I mean, don't mind my face and whatever but (laughs) the picture it's so fucking orange and now I look at it it's just like it's fucking it's there's no color it's gone it's gone and I didn't even try to remove it huh yeah and you would think me trying to be a little tattoo artist would fucking know this shit but I I don't know what the fuck I mean I guess it's cheap ink I don't fucking know (laughs) fucking (laughs) <laughs> Fuck it, I was gone though. <laughs> but speaking of that, tattoos. I know you have tattoos. I know you know we both have artwork. You have more artwork than I do. Okay. Um, but if some if I if somebody were to ask me, give me the exact like how many tattoos does she actually have you know okay. what i knew you were going to ask me that when you started talking tattoos i don't know i i don't i haven't counted so i don't know but i mean it would be more of like 10 plus right yeah okay just if you just boil it down okay yeah yeah but you have artwork see and i really don't i have eyebrows <laughs> oh jesus christ <laughs> i fucking love you <laughs> but do you know how many I actually have. I know you have the wrist one. Do you have one on your like upper arm? No. No. So maybe I'm not counting your eyebrows. Okay. Um, maybe two. I think you have like, a, don't you have a turtle or something on your ankle or your foot? Maybe my ankle. Yeah. Oh, yes. Okay. So yeah. you have two tattoos. Maybe? Two. What about my back? Oh, I don't know about your back. I have a shark on my back. Okay. Oh, so cool. I have, Sharknado. Yeah. Yep. You How big it? is it? Oh, it's tiny. And that's when um, it, it's so, it, and it's, yeah, that's when I was in Hawaii and I got the passage of being like an adult when we swam with the sharks <laughs> we had to get back to the shore. Oh, okay. Yeah. But. Yeah, it kind of fit in perfect, but yeah. So it, yeah, I only have three. Okay. Yeah, and uh, not counting my eyebrows, and not counting the ones I removed. Not counting. Oh, you. Uh, what tattoos did you ever remove? Just like the stupid ones on my face and on on my uh, knuckles and oh, fingers. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know what they said. Guess what? You don't oh, that's have to go right. To- I forgot yeah. about your knuckles once. I want to see a picture of that. You know what? It was like a Polaroid camera. I never asked somebody if I just got a tattoo, please take a Polaroid. I, I, it, was, it was a different time. 
<laughs> oh, I fucking love you. Oh my gosh, I love you too. Okay, so I guess am I is it my question? Okay, so I have one yep. more question. What's yep. your favorite color that oh did I ask you this already? What's your favorite color that is not black? Okay, wait. So you don't know. You're gonna what would your assumption be? Because we're we're talking like they have a noose over me and over my neck. They're like, we're going to pull this if you don't know the answer. God, it's so fucking dramatic. I know. It, it has to be. Like, this is what it well, is. Well, you're an islander, so I would think, like, maybe blue? Yes! Okay, that's why you're my bestie. Oh. It's actually turquoise. But Okay, well, that's close yeah. enough. I fucking love turquoise, too, and it looks good on, t- on tan skin. Girl, yes. I love turquoise. Turquoise is my go-to color. Yay! That- okay, well, I'm glad I got one right. Yes! <laughs> I wouldn't die. Yes. Yeah. I'm still alive. <laughs> Live another day. Okay. Um, <laughs> for for me, um, it's a different co- like now that it's summertime. I don't know. I change my colors all the time. It's normally t- nine times out of ten is blue, but like this year, I'm feeling orange. So I want everything orange. I guess for swimwear. But not like a pumpkin orange, like a lighter like orange. A, yeah, like a neon orange or like yeah. the bright navel oranges. Not yeah, not pumpkin orange. That's more like brown, I guess. Yeah, I, I hate know. that little spicy orange color. Yeah. yeah that. Okay. Huh. Good to know. Okay, so my last one. Okay. Okay. Again, we have to think about it. Like, life or death. I would not know the answer to this, but I'm going to guess what my answer would be, and then you're going to say what the true answer is. So okay. I, this is very minimal, but it's something I don't know about you because I know most. Okay. Veggies. Veggies. I know you eat veggies. I know you eat fruit. I know that. But what is the most hated veggie for you to eat? Like, what is where I have some where it's like if somebody puts something on my plate, I'm just like, I won't. I just won't. I just can't. I just don't like it. There's that one veggie. What is it? The one that everybody fucking eats. Fucking green beans. That shit is fucking trash tastes like you know how it says wax beans yeah it tastes like fucking wax bitch stop eating green beans there's nothing nutritious about green beans so you just hate green beans yes i was <laughs> going to say i honestly thought i was like if i had to answer that uh i thought to myself hmm she probably would hate brussels sprouts um you know what i love them but they give me the worst gas so yeah i hate them <laughs> I was like, if somebody, I I don't know, what would be the one vegetable? Yeah, of course. We grew up in that era where our parents would serve us and we can't leave the fucking table until until we feed the dog our vegetables or find a way to just get rid of our vegetables. I can't believe they used to do that to us. That's so just ridiculous. And then the vegetables would get cold after an hour. Oh, and and it's so fucking gross. And now I really want to eat some cold ass peas. No. So now I guess I'm just going to get a fucking pillow and sleep here because I want to brush my teeth. (laughs) I want to brush my teeth. (laughs) Fuck these cold ass peas. Exactly. Yeah. Fuck. I don't know. But I I do have like a vegetable where I just, I really don't. Mm -mm. You seem like you would eat any vegetable. I do. I do because I consider. Food. Oh, you know what? Fuel. I would eat green beans. I just think about it because my mom loves eggplants. I that shit is so disgusting. Fuck. I don't you know. know. Filipinos love eggplants, and I know she, she puts it straight on the fucking the stove, like how people um, you know how you warm up oh, the tortilla? like a tortilla. <laughs> yeah, she fucking does that with the eggplant. It's so disgusting. What? Yeah, I was just like, oh, I cannot be. So I'm never gonna marry an Asian guy. I'm never going to get married, but I'm never going to hook up with an Asian guy. I just cannot deal with the culture at all. <laughs> it's like I've lived it my entire life. Absolutely not. You're not so- me. <laughs> oh, you know, shit. Okay. <laughs> You're like, well, good to know. I was like, but don't go with the Cholos and don't go or the Edgar. I was just going to say there's no more Cholos. So yeah. Sad. Don't go with the Edgars. Don't go with the fucking, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I guess, you know what? 
just line them up and get ready to aim and just, <laughs> just, just pick a target. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. But so mine, like I absolutely 1000% fucking fucking hate and I don't care. I tried it, but don't ever. And I don't even know if it's a vegetable. Obviously it's not. I think it's a plant. Well, a vegetable is a plant, but yeah. I hate cactus. Don't. Give me. Cactus. I have never eaten cactus, but yeah, I, some people eat that. Yeah, it's like the I the in the um Hispanic culture, it, I, they call it like nopales or whatever. They scramble uh-huh. that shit with eggs, or you know, I'm grateful because you know beggars can't be choosy, and I'm eating right your food, but no, uh, I don't, I I can't. I just hate cactus, and people are like, you haven't had it this way, you haven't had it grilled, you haven't had like fuck. That. So, did you watch them prepare it? Do they just um, peel the skin off and then just grill the, I guess, the inside of it? Yeah, it's like the huh. flesh part. So or the flesh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah, you just, but you take, they take the needles off. I don't even know, like, I thought there was a shit ton of different type of cactus. So, I don't know, like, it has to be that, I don't even know. Is what it any cactus or it's a, a certain type of cactus? I oh. have I would assume it's a certain type because the huh. cactus looks like one of those cactus where it's like, it almost looks like a little plate or something. And it, and it has the, I don't, I don't fucking know. You know what? Actually, I'm making myself sound so stupid because I didn't GTS and I don't, I didn't educate myself yet. I'm just like, I don't know. I think it's in the Mojave desert. <laughs> I'll check that out because, yeah, I've seen or I've heard people eating that before. And I'm like, oh, that's interesting. No, a lot of people eat it. And it's a yeah. it's a delicacy. It's good. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Huh. But I also don't like tongue. I don't like cow tongue. I will not. I don't I've like never it. tried that. I want to try it. I've never tried it. Or have you tried, oh, what is it called? Tr- the, oh, um, brains or whatever. Treat no, or... I haven't tried. I don't know if I, I would like that, but I guess how you don't want to try tongue, that's how I don't want to try brain. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, if you guys fool me, mother... Mm, I'll be... I've, <laughs> fucking, I've eaten chitlins and, I guess, chorizo, so that's fucking intestine lining, so I, I'm sure brain and fucking I mean, tongue would be a lot better. I eat and cleaner. spam. I don't feel like I'm <laughs> fucking higher than anybody. I'm spam. I mean, let's... let's Eat the whole animal, please. It, it sacrifices right. it's like I don't know, but shit, I'll eat spam. So, but I don't want to eat tongue. And and you did have you ever been exposed with uh, the Filipino culture where they eat the fish eye, like the eye? I want to say I'm sure my mom's eaten that and the fish head. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's whatever. Good. Yeah, yeah I mine know. too. My family too. I mean, it's normal. I'm not disrespecting, but right, I mean, I'm not disrespecting, us. but it's just not me. Yeah, I'm just like, oh shit. <laughs> I'm like, don't judge me, and then and I get judged for eating cow. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> shit. I get judged for eating sugar. <laughs> right? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> All oh. right, I think on that note, we should end it. We're at 53 minutes. We were going to go short today for the listeners because. Oh. So, I'm um, sorry, Pomona Bullets wasn't feeling well, but I, here we are at 53. Yeah. Of course, because that's how we roll. That's right. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're feeling better. And hopefully, I guess your sinuses and my sinuses will be okay this week. So, I'm sending you healing vibes. Yay. Uh, well wishes <laughs> your way, too. Thank you. All right. Well, everybody have a good week. Yep. Peace out. Peace. Okay, I understood the strategy about hopscotch, but the little fucking rock that people would throw and shit, like, I, I didn't know what that fucking meant. So maybe if the, the, <laughs> so maybe if the fucking rock was, um, alcohol, maybe both of us would understand the entire fucking game altogether. Welcome to our podcast.